Hello, it's Trained Assassin here. I've had a number of questions asking about my custom models, so I thought in between episodes I'd start with a video detailing all of the custom rolling stock I've made. I was starting with Annie and Clarabelle, who are standard Backman models, and all I've done is repainted the chassis black, like it is in the TV series, and had put the buffer beams as red as they are from series 5 onwards. Unlike the mod current CGI models, I've kept the roofs white as they were in the original model series. Next are two railway series characters that I made with two Hornby four-wheel coaches lying around. I've made each of the models using specific pictures from the TV show or railway series books. And these are my models of Helena and Victoria, who were originally Albert's coaches in the railway series. I've painted them with with French blue and did the white and lining afterwards, right down to the detailing of the grey buffers. Victoria is the only one that appears with a face in the Railway series, so I kept hers as a smile, and as a contrast to show a similar Annie and Clarabelle-esque relationship, I gave Helena a more shocked face as seen on Annie's models from both Hornby and Backman. The faces were painted on with the noses stuck on with a piece of moulded blue tack and then that was painted over. These are the Farquhar Quarry Troublesome Trucks made from old Hornby five plank wagons which, which I've picked up second hand from exhibition stalls. All I've simply done is file down the fronts and painted them green as the Farquhar wagons are in the, t the original TV series using this picture from Mavis in season 3 and I've put some faces from both the Backman Troublesome Trucks that are available and the Wooden Thomas Troublesome Trucks are available. I know the basis for the wagons in the TV show is seven plank but I preferred the five planks as they felt more in scale with both the engines and the wooden railway faces and they're also a lot easier to pick up from second-hand market. These are two salt wagons I made using old Hornby Wrexham mineral salt wagons and these will feature in an episode very soon. They were made in the same manner as the troublesome trucks with the front shaved down and repainted and the model images I used for these were the brown salt wagon from series 2 which is seen during Duck and the diesel engine and and the other one is a cream salt wagon from season 7 in which something fishy goes on. Again these use wooden railway faces. Here's some more variants of some trucks. I've retained the Hornby Scruffy who's, who's likely going to be weathered in the future. And I've also used some other variants of truck colours that are seen in the TV show. Two of them are painted brown and I've reserved them as coal trucks. Whilst the other is grey and that is coupling up as another ballast wagon for Gruffy. The truck loads themselves are really simple makes. They're just cardboard cutouts with spare ballast glued to the top. And then either painted over or left. The ballast in Scruffy and the grey truck are both pure ballast whereas the coal trucks are ballast that's been painted black. The stone in the quarry trucks is stone that's been painted in a sort of sandy creamy colour similar to the original Rock and the TV series. They're, they're really cheap and simple to make. I've left a little hole so they can be taken out so the trucks can be loaded and unloaded. This is one of the utility wagons that is often seen in, in the early model series. It's featured quite often when Henry pulls a flying kipper, but it's also seen around the yard more often than not, especially in the first episodes. The model image I used is actually from Edward and Gordon, and it's rarely seen nowadays, although other variants are seen on Soda, but I thought it was a nice one to be included in background shot. This is my custom model of Toad the Brake Van, made using an old Hornby Triang Southall 16-ton Toad Brake Van that was repainted in grey and fitted with another wooden railway face. I, I chose a slightly lighter coat of grey, different to his original model in the TV show, more in tone with his current CGI model which is lighter. It was personal preference but I did prefer the colour. I also fitted him with his own brake lever as seen in both models but he also retains his decals on both sides whereas in the CGI model he only retains it on one. It was a nice old diecast model fitted with a loop coupling at the back. Breeds a nice bit of life into what was quite an old and run down model. This was the first custom model that I made which was the spiteful brake van. It's made using an old Thomas range brake van that I just had lying around and fitted with a spiteful brake van face from the wooden railway range again. Well that's all my models. Hopefully there'll be more rolling stock made and acquired in the future and in look out for further episodes and also videos detailing my the customizations I've made to my locomotive models and also my layout. Thank you. Goodbye.